because I have literally only one hour. So um, I need to get going. So anybody who's sort of joining as we go, they're just going to have to jump right in and listen, and listen as, as, as we're here. So Claire, can you share your screen? So if you guys have questions, by the way, if you could enter them into the chat box, right? And I'll answer them as we go. I'll try and get to them as, as we go. But as I said, like, you know, this is 481 items and I have one hour. I did and this I am going to meet well, everybody as well. Going. Yeah, let's, let's get, get going. Get going. Let's go. <laughs> So I just, the, the first page that's going to come up is something that you guys have already been selling. It's the 2020 mugs. And I just wanted to sort of give you guys just a little bit of a, a sort of a sales tally. I'm sure you guys all know based on sort of your customer request that the number one is the, um, the asterisk, the F asterisk CK 2020. That is the number one selling mug out of that collection. You know, we hummed and hawed about putting it on the cover, but decided not to. So, um, uh, number two, by the way, is practicing social distancing. Since it was cool. Number three is if you can read this, you are too damn close. Um, and number four is not all heroes wear capes. So every single one is selling really, really well, but I just wanted to give you a little bit of a heads up as to uh, what the, the rating was at, at the moment. Um, so Claire, let's start then um, on page four. Sorry, bear with me for one second, Jen. I'm just trying to find the mute for everybody. I mean, it's a good one. You wouldn't think everybody, obviously everybody likes it. And also, can we also get it so that the pay, the entire page is on the screen, Claire? That's as big as I can get it, Jen, with the PDF. I can't I download it, so. I want to be able to see the whole page. I can't oh, yeah, I can bring whole page. that down. Yeah. So, and I think everybody needs to kind of see the whole page. Yeah, a little bit more, so. So the, the next collection that I'm going to talk about actually is um, the ASDs, which is the Swedish dish claws, as everybody knows, everyone's favorite item. Uh, you know, this is definitely one of our top selling categories at the moment. Not only is it great for um, people being at home wanting to, to um, you know, keep everything clean and tidy, but on top of it, it is um, an absolutely um, great item, uh, great for the environment. And, you know, you guys, I'm sure have, have noticed that we've added so many new ones, and this is no different. We actually have added an, an additional 18 styles. So that's another huge addition to this. Um, including five of them, which are part of our licensed uh, collection for man-made. So that's really exciting to be able to, to do licensed products also in the category. But I think more than no, ever, mute, so it's okay to more than anything, we're on else, mute, so I'm, I'd like everybody to, to know. Do you remember seeing how many birds in were? Mm -hmm. Can we, can we, can we guys? I'm everybody, you're you're not muted yet. Can you please press your own mute button? While Claire figures out how to mute everybody, make sure you press mute on your screen so we cannot hear you. And if you can't press mute, please be quiet until Claire can get everyone muted. Thank you. Sorry, Jody. It's hard to find when the screen's up like that. No problem. But I'm sharing my screen. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So as I said, uh, top selling um, category for us, and we've added another um, 18 styles. But one thing I really would like to bring to your attention, which I think you guys are going to be really excited about, is we are working on a displayer. We've had this request numerous. I plan for it to be available in January, so for the beginning of 2021. And I think, Claire, if you can just show us a picture, we'll sort of give you an idea of what it looks like. It is a tabletop model, which is great yeah. because a lot of our, our um, customers don't have space for a monster display. So that is very exciting. So if we can uh, any idea? Sorry, Jen, what was that? Can you get the picture up of the displayer? Oh. There's actually two styles of displayer that we're working on. One is countertop and one is a floor model. Oh, thanks, Jody. Right. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'll have to bring up the, here's the tabletop. Can you see? So here is a, it's a, a nice, we've done really nice wood here. Uh, it really will stack a lot of our ASDs. We branded it at the top. This is a really great piece. It's not a piece of junk. It's a, it's a really nice displayer. 
And again, that will be, uh, that will be, I don't know, Tia. Uh, yes, it rotates auto. I don't know about all the details. I just wanted to give you guys a bit of a sneak peek on that because a lot of our reps have been asking. And of course, adding more and more um, styles every single uh, launch. I wanted to make sure that you guys knew that we definitely listen and uh, we are working on that. So one other new thing for the catalog, which is really great, is that for all of the brand new items that are available for 2021, which is just under 500 items, we have marked these in the catalog. So when Claire goes back to showing us on the page, um, you guys will be able to see that there is a little icon, it's the number 21, in a sort of in the our Abbott teal color, and that is indicating what, oh, there's the standing one, right? Sorry, they're separate, Jen, so I had to stop it's the no, sharing and restart. No problem, it's no problem, Claire, don't worry. And I'm going back to the catalog for you. Yeah. So there's one of the 21s there. Wow, uh, okay, so exactly. So there you'll see at the top, the one with the, the spritzer, you'll see that little 21 and below the Save Our Ocean, Save Our Earth, again, that 21, that indicates that it is new for 2021. The goods will be arriving late 2020, but in time to ship in January of 2021. There are some things that will be coming earlier, but we will keep you guys abreast uh, abreast of that uh, as we go as we go forward. So. Uh, there are, as I said, 18 new styles here. Claire, if you can just jump to page number nine, please. Yep. So I just want to point out and just can you scroll up a little bit there? You'll see that there are some new styles. Those are the ones from Man Made that I wanted to point out. So there are some um, there are some new street names. That is obviously good for the Canadian, um, the Canadian reps. And then there's also the two that we've done, which are the two lakes, the Kawartha Lakes and the Muskoka Lakes. Again, part of that man-made collection. And there are the matching tea towels with that. So, uh, okay, Claire, can you jump to page 12, please? Okay, and then maybe go to 13 then. Thanks, sorry, I have a double page spread. So on this page is the beginning of our first sort of coordinated tabletop collection, and that is Wildflower. Wildflower is a huge trend right now with lovely bright colors. We've done some um, paper pieces, we've done textiles, and if you just scroll up a little bit, Claire, and we can see the tabletop. Um, so there is a collection of tabletop items that is a sort of a smaller um, coffee set. There are three, um, uh, there are, there are actually four mugs. One thing about the one with the cover on it, I just wanted you to point, to point out that that is the CVT. Uh, so it has the mug, the lid, and the stainless steel strainer. Okay, so we already have that item in like Amalfi, our lemon design. So this is the same, but with this, with this lovely wildflower pattern. Uh, as I said, there are coordinating paper uh, pieces as well with the, with the paper um, place cards. And then there is also the textiles that we've added. And then, of course, speaking of textiles, we do have the um, 2021. There's two styles of 2021 cal um, calendar tea towels. There is the uh, weed with the, with the great, you can't really see it from here, but if you actually take a look at what the, the, the months are, that's a great, a great piece. Uh, obviously legal for us here in Canada. Uh, and only in some states in the, in the U.S. Next page, please, Claire. So uh, we are starting the next collection with um, our ever popular bee items. There are a couple of new tea towels here. There's a bee and lavender and also grow these to help the bees. This is by uh, the one that says grow, grow these help the bees is by Jane Madej, uh, one of our favorite artists. She does a lot of really terrific illustrations and we've been using quite a few of hers for uh, quite some time now. Next page please Claire, 15. So at the top of page 15 here, you'll see there is a, a new um, stemless glass and goblet. I, what I really wanna point out here is that is an electroplated gold bee doesn't look like that from the catalog, but that is actually electroplated. It is lovely. That is obviously one of our very strong icons from our Buzz collection. And you, as you know, we've used that quite a few times on both textiles and tabletop. Uh, we really are getting a lot of traction now uh, with the embossed bee just below it too, which we just launched. 
So that's very exciting. And bees, of course, continue to be uh, a very strong theme and will be going into spring of 2021. And next page, please, Claire. And this is the complementary uh, version of that. And that is like a halo of the small bees. And this is in color. So this is black and yellow. Um, but it's very dramatic with that lovely little ring of bees around the top as well. Next page, 17, please, Claire. So this is a fabulous new collection actually made in Turkey. Of course, we love it when we can add additional countries uh, for products that are made from places other than China, and this is no exception. This is actually a range of hardened ceramic, hardened earthenware, they call it, uh, and with a beautiful stamped and hand-painted rim on it. And again, all made in Turkey. Care with regards to this is, yes, it is dishwasher safe. However, you know, when you put, these are a lot of really big pieces, so a lot, you know, would be awkward in your, in your dishwasher. You can use it. I would definitely run it on gentle because with this type of product, you know, we get that crazing, which is basically an expansion and shrinking of the, of the material, which gives us that slight crack in the glaze. It, of course, doesn't affect the integrity of the product. It has nothing to do. There's no health issues surrounding it, but it does mar the finish if you actually use it in a hot dishwasher. If you were to use it in the dishwasher, what I would do is put it on gentle, and then I would turn off the heat for the heat cycle. So that's a lot of care. So we're just going to recommend hand washing on, on the, these products. It is a lovely sort of extension. And of course, lemons, along with bees, being our top themes right at the moment. Um, again, more big, uh, quite large pieces, although that one on the inside left is more like a pasta bowl. So it's a nice shallow bowl would be great for soup or pasta um, or even, you know, even for a salad if, you, if you're a big salad lover. Okay, so let's move on to the next page, page 18, where we continue with lemon um, themed products. So Amalfi has been one of our top selling tabletop ranges and we've added three new pieces. These three pieces actually are borosilicate glass. So again, that really nice light feeling, but it has really great durability. There are two T for one styles. One is the small teapot. And you'll notice that there is, um, the decal actually is on the lid and the strainer, but the actual teapot itself is clear, right? So that means you can put that in the dishwasher. And the same thing with the small T for one at the bottom that basically sits on a teacup. Um, but that is quite a few pieces. You get the strainer, the teapot, the teacup, and of course the lid. Very, very cute pieces. Those pieces are dishwasher safe. Unlike the bottle on the right hand side, you'll see the bottle has a stainless steel lid. The stainless steel lid also has a silicone liner inside so there'll be no drips and, and no leaking. This piece here, because the decoration is on the glass, this is a hand wash. Okay. And next page, at the top of page um, 19, please, Claire. So you'll notice there those beautiful light strings. This is very similar to our B light in that it comes in a craft box, window box. However, what's different and unique about this is that there is a, there's a garland or leaves that wrapped around the wires. So it's really a very nice decorative piece, a lot nicer than just having that plain wire. Again, there's 10 lights. It's a warm um, LED light, runs on three AA batteries for about 150 hours, the exact same runtime as our B lights. An additional few lemon items. Again, as I said, lemon being a very, very strong trend for, for the spring, well, for this year and for next year. Um, we've got the shaped, um, the, uh, the shaped planter, which we just launched. And then there you'll see that there's a new parade style. You guys will know that a lot of our parade items are all of the decal wrapped planters in just the classic style. Of course, the small one fits the four inch um, planter. Uh, what we've done this year is instead of doing multiple sizes in every single pattern, we've really stuck to that small size, which is our top seller. Um, far more popular than any of the other, both the extra small and the large. And we've done it in a series of, of great strong patterns um, just on that size alone. Uh, the two earthenware pieces on the side, also the, the three piece salt and pepper, really cute piece. And of course that jug is fabulous for whether you want lemon water or lemonade, a uh, really great piece for entertaining outside when we can all entertain again, <laughs> of course. So. Okay, Claire, if you could jump to page 24 for me now. 
So 24 starts with, of course, a very strong theme as well, butterflies, especially the monarch, a huge, huge um, popular butterfly for us. Watch for new tabletop in this collection as well. So there will be additional pieces. You know, we've done back, going back to that same thing where there's a combination of textiles, there is the paper, there's also tabletop. The tabletop will be coming in um, uh, a January launch. We have also done um, floor mats in this. One thing that's really unique about that multi monarch butterfly tea, um, tea towel is that it's screen printed in the black, so you get the black and white monarch, but those orange butterflies are actually embroidered. You can't really see that. We've done a little bit of a highlight in the catalog to point that out. There are three of them, and, you, and that is a really great sort of hit of color on that. And the other thing that's great is even though that has that embroidery, which is a, obviously a much more detailed step in the manufacture of that, we've managed to hold the price of that at that same great screen printed price of five bucks and five fifty in the US. So that's a really, really terrific for us. We're really happy about that. Um, the next page, Claire 25. So these, you have got the, the, uh, the next calendar, which is with the lavender and bee. Uh, this is actually in French, uh, coordinates very nicely with the whole lavender look. Uh, and the plant these for the butterflies along, again, that Jane Midday print. Uh, there are a couple of coordinating blocks that are a little bit lower on the page. But before we go there, I just want to point out those spoons on the right. And you'll notice there was another one of those uh, that I sort of glossed over of the bee collection. So we did do three new spoons. These are very, these are the, from the same factory that does Blitzen. You'll know Blitzen, our reindeer spoon, the 104 is one, of, and, the, and for that matter, the, the snowman are two of our top selling items every year, consistently selling out. So we've done a monarch, a koala, and there, of course, there's the bee. So that's really exciting. And Cindy, Susie, the, the uh, calendar tea towels are due to arrive early fall so that you'll be able to sell them in time for the, the spring. Right, so those are coming in a little bit earlier, obviously because of the calendar nature of those. Okay, so Claire, let's go to page 44. And this doesn't mean you guys shouldn't go through every single page with your customers, okay? <laughs> There's a lot of product on all of these pages, but I'm just trying to highlight some of the more unique pieces. Uh, it's a lot of pieces, to, a lot of pieces to get through. So what I want to point out on this page is those uh, four. Uh, buffalo check mugs in the center of the page. Now what's unique about these is that it's a little bit different for us because we've used a black glaze on these. So they are completely black, inside is black as well. And we've used that really strong buffalo check uh, pattern in different colors. So they are um, blue, green, gray, and red. They have a real punch of color uh, on, on these. And of course they are porcelain, so they are dishwasher and microwave safe, which of course everybody wants in their, in their mug. Uh, they look, and Cindy, thank you for that offer that she says that these look great in person. So. Okay, so next page, Claire, please, page 46. Uh, down at the bottom of the page is just the, something a little fun for the kids, and that is our monster mugs. These are actually flip mugs, so they're reversible. Obviously, I don't recommend you flip it when it's full, right? But these are great for kids. They can use it on their desk for pencils, or you can uh, you make it hot chocolate or any of their, their drink. And really fun in the uh, three, three different styles. Uh, they are obviously buy one, collect them all. Um, that one there also, um, you know, I would hand wash it only because, again, it's that hardened earthenware and uh, wood, wood fares better. So, oh, okay, great guy's gift as well. Thanks, Jody. Right. Okay, Claire, page 53, please. So here starts our uh, new collection. And as I mentioned to you that I really uh, love the fact whenever we can add a new country to, um, to sort of our portfolio of, of vendors. And this collection, the Nepal collection, is just that. It is a completely 100% wool sheep wool actually, a collection that is handmade in Nepal. And we've never bought anything from Nepal, so this is new. This is a really beautiful, beautiful product, really well made. This is actually made mainly by female artisans um, and really lovely, lovely quality. Again, completely 100% sheep wool, so no polyester, a really nice natural looking um, product as well with a beautiful tactile um, 
a part to it. Really lovely. So we've got we've done a couple of set of nesting bowls. We've done obviously these are not food safe. Don't make me say that, right? So um, and they are, but they are lovely to be able to um, display things in, to put in the front hall with your keys in them, to put jewelry. You can put them on a dresser. Um, really lovely, lovely pieces. Uh, we've done quite a few trivets. There's two that are the bunny, which are really lovely um, for uh, for Easter. And then the next page. Um, are actually the, the ball trivets. These are on the market. However, they um, are just so colorful and so fun. And with everybody nesting at home and, and, and spending more time at home, they are really a lovely, lovely product. Um, we've done them in a couple of colors. And then we've also done a matching coaster. And the coasters, of course, are great for coffee mugs on a desk uh, when everybody, of course, with their home offices now. Uh, next page, Claire, a little bit more, just pointing out more of the trivets. We've done a few styles, so some fun and, um, you know, all fun, completely functional, but some a little bit more fun, some a little bit more toned down. Uh, so these ones are a little bit more toned down with sort of a series and in, in a trio of colors. And then the ones on the right, uh, those cable knit ones, those actually, believe it or not, are actually hand knit on large wood needles. They actually knit the, the entire thing, which is a really sort of fun fact about those. The other thing I want to mention is every single one of these items in the Nepal collection will come with a hang tag. It comes with a hang tag explaining where it's made, how to look after it, how it's like, whether it's the, um, the effect of it uh, and, and um, really how, um, how environmentally nice it is and how it's made with uh, fair trade certified um, um, artisans. Uh, so that's a nice thing too. I think a lot of our customers really appreciate when we brand them that way and give them that information uh, so that the consumer can see that right away. Okay. Next page please Claire, 56. So. I, the, what I want to point out here is just um, a couple of new pieces in cast iron. We don't normally do trivets in cast iron, but we found a new vendor that has some really nice pieces. So we've done the uh, pig and cow trivet. So again, great kitchen items with everybody spending so much more time at home in the kitchen. And page 59, please. What I want to point out on 59 is just that mug in the center. We have this, uh, this art on a planter, which we've carried for a couple of years, and we also have it on a similar version of this on a table mat. These are all done by a US um, artist by the name of Wendy Russell, and her products and her designs are so fantastic. We really have a great success with these. And so we thought this one with, of course, all the colorful birds wrapping around the mug was a real natural for us. Uh, so we've done a, a really lovely sort of jumbo sized mug on this generous 16 ounces on that one. So uh, I think I would think that that's going to be a great, a great seller moving forward. Page 60, please, Claire. So again, going back to that whole lemon, the success of lemon and how popular that is right now, this whole tropical fruit uh, explosion pattern is a really lovely play on that. And we've complemented it with a couple of um, pineapple pieces. So that oven mitt there is actually one of three styles. We also did a whale and a fish. And these are shaped actual um, oven mitts. So they are really nice, they fit lovely. They're obviously padded uh, so that you can handle hot items. And it, But what you're looking at there is you, you just buy one. It's not a pair, uh, we're selling it individually. So uh, really nice pieces, and made, made in India as well. So again, that colorful fruit pattern pulling out that, that pineapple is a, is a really nice effect. Okay, so Claire, let's jump to page 66, please. So there is the whale version of the same oven mitt that I was just speaking of. And the next collection on page 67. So just like the lemons, this double fish pattern is uh, from that same factory in Turkey. Uh, again, that hardened earthenware, a lovely pieces that we've done uh, on, on this. I just love this whole, this whole finish. It coordinates with our blue and white product. It coordinates with a lot of our seaside and our coral items. So uh, this, I think, there's lots and lots of, uh, I think it's really, really popular. And then just below that, you'll notice there are three boat dishes. Those are actually divided. So there's a little bit of a, a separate well there. So again, you can use these for shells with nuts or dips with chips, um, olives in there and pits. 
uh, but all really, really fun. Great for cottage, camp, um, you name it, and then also great for all of our coastal customers as well. Uh, and these are, are really nicely made out of porcelain, have a really nice feel to them um, on top of that. So. Okay, 73, please, Claire. I just want to point out these, there are eight new um, items in the recycled, uh, the recycled collection, uh, including these three petal bowls. What's really lovely about these is they're, first of all, they're nice and shallow. You can use them for display. You can use them for food, obviously. Um, but they nest and they look really pretty together when they're when they're all together. So um, this will be uh, coming soon from from Spain. Again, all of our code um, 83 product is all uh, recycled glass made in Spain. Next page, Claire. So 74. Uh, at the top, the two oyster dishes. Again, we call them oyster dishes. They don't have to be for oyster. You could use the top one for a soap dish. Um, you could use it in your kitchen for a scrubby or a, um, a sponge. So lots of different uh, use for these uh, in two very, uh, really nice sizes. And they have a really beautiful texture to them as well, um, which, which makes them look a lot nicer than just a piece of uh, machine made glass. All of the, this collection has a lovely warm feel to it. And of course, the eco as um, aspect of it is great. The fact that it's uh, recycled glass. Right. Next page 76, please. So one thing I just want to point out here is the We Care napkins. Um, anything that says We Care in the description is a recycled, it's on a recycled paper. Um, again, a lot of our customers asking us for uh, eco-friendly and recycled products. So anything that's in this We Care on this sort of beige color is um, part of that collection. The giraffe and zebra at the top, that's actually a double pattern. There's actually a hide pattern on the back. By the hide, I mean like there's a giraffe print on the giraffe one and there's a zebra pattern on the other. We'll try and get those pictures up on the website um, uh, quickly so you'll be able to see them. Uh, it's just another nice feature. We used to have the same thing with the stripe and dot pattern or the um, uh, vineyard pattern that had like grapes on one side, a white grape and a dark grape on the other side. So just one more uh, little selling, tech, uh, selling feature of, of those items. There are actually 30 new designs in the paper napkins. Um, again, lots of great ones for the spring. Uh, so, um, you know, make sure that you take a look through um, each of the pages so that you can, uh, you can really get to know a lot of those new ones. Page 94, please, Claire. So at the top of the page here are some new glass straws. We're selling them two different ways. We're selling them packaged. You'll see the, the image of the craft box on the, the left-hand side. And we're also selling them bulk. If you buy them in bulk, obviously they just come in a little, uh, there's actually a little sleeve that it comes in, packed in a box of 24. So if your customers want to put them in, you know, buy the cash or put them in another container or in a cup or whatever, they can sell them that way. Or as I said, we're selling them in the box. If you choose to buy them in the gift box, you have three options. You can buy four straight straws with a cleaning brush. You can buy four bent straws with a cleaning brush, or you can buy a combination of two straight and two bent in the cleaning brush. So that, it looks a little confusing there, but that's, that's sort of what it is. These are made from um, shatterproof or silicate glass. They are dishwasher safe. They're great for hot drinks or cold drinks. They have a really nice sort of ground edge, so it's very it feels good on your on your lips or on your on your tongue. Um, you know, you can you can also just rinse them with hot water. And of course, because it comes with the the cleaning um, um, brush, uh, it's very easy easy care for for all of those. Great price point on all of these as well. And then, then how thick is how what's the diameter on those? Do you know? Oh. Um, yeah, I think it's as thick as the large, I think maybe 8 mm. I don't know, I'll have to reconfirm that, but I think it's like 8 mm, it's slightly larger than the um, metal ones. So I, let's think that the, the normal metal ones are 6 mm, the larger one that we carry is 8 mm, I'm thinking it's about 8 mm. Okay. Um, next page, Claire, if you just go to page 96 or 97, doesn't really matter which one. Oh. So our top paper straw, there are some new paper straw designs, one that says party. Um, 
But one thing that we've added for this year is we've added the smaller cocktail or bar size um, um, straw. So these will also come in the same craft box. So merchandise is along uh, fine with uh, all the other products that we have, the regular FET. Uh, and we've done our top selling designs um, in cocktail. As, as a matter of fact, there's a total of eight in the cocktail size. Uh, again, a cocktail size straw can be used as a straw or a stir. The other thing I thought that you could use it for, and the bakers will have to um, validate this for me, is whether you could use those small cocktail saws as cake pop sticks. A lot of our um, you know, people are baking that, that type of thing at home, and I thought that might be a, a cool way to, to use that as well. Definitely um, for, for party favors and, and things like that. Um, I thought that that might be a fun way to be able to use those. Um, okay, Claire, 102, please. So at the top here, you'll notice there's a new uh, collection of glassware. This is mouth blown glass. So anything with mouth blown glass, we know we don't put it in the dishwasher. It also has a great decal on it with a gold star. So this is really, really retro, really fun pieces. We've done two patterns, one in a turquoise sort of limey green and another one that's sort of pink turquoise. Um, again, really reminiscent of, uh, you know, 50s and 60s barware. I'm sure a lot of you are all sort of smiling because you remember them at your grandparents' home. Uh, and we've done the, high, the highball and the old-fashioned. Um, and then as well, we've done the um, stemless glass, which of course is a huge seller for us. And we've managed to keep some great price points on these as well with this, with this great decal. Okay, page 111, please, Claire. So at the top, we've got some great new hooks, the hockey hooks. Um, we've done them in two colors, the antique red and antique blue. Uh, I think great for a little boy's room, great for hanging up jackets, coats, or even wayward hockey equipment. Um, you'll see also there is a collection at the bottom of those three um, climbing men, part of our Cirque grouping. Um, and they are a little bit smaller that's actually incorrect and it says a set. It's not a set, it's each. We have corrected that in the catalog. Um, but these are slightly smaller than the Cirque on the bottom right. Uh, you'll see the, the ones that are in the glam shot that are climbing up the wall. These are just, uh, they're just the slider, slider men and I guess they're a little bit narrower, but they are also that, that resin with that great bronze finish and with the wire, um, the wire lead of them climbing up. And that is an assortment of three. Next page, please there. So we launched Man Made in January as part of our everyday collection as well as holiday. And it has been a huge, huge success for us. Um, sorry for the US reps. A lot of these are very Canadian driven. Um, this is a Canadian artist, Doug Jackson, but that the Canada, the sorry license plate, that's new. We've done a new tea towel and a tote bag for that. Uh, next page, um, Claire 113 is the bowling and the lacrosse. You know, lacrosse is our national sport. I know everybody thinks it's hockey, but it's actually lacrosse. Um, that Canadian made five pin bowling. We've done a great tote. Thought that would be a, a great piece for, um, for people going to the bowling alley, which is still live and well in Canada. Uh, and the, um, the really nice tea towel, which has a really nice shade of gray with the vintage pins. Um, next page, 114, please. So these are the souvenir uh, pieces that are um, of Toronto, Montreal, and uh, Vancouver. We've done the tote bag in only the Toronto one. Obviously, if the other ones prove to be quite successful, we'll add those as well. But what's great about this is we've also done the coordinating ASD, which I pointed out earlier in the presentation. Um, and these are really a great play with really strong graphics with the, with the wording. And then just below that is another new one, uh, which is the, he calls it, Doug, the artist calls this the Kenora dinner jacket. Um, we put the, the uh, Canada in, in, the, in the center and of course with the, uh, with the beer bottle in the pocket, which is great fun. And we've done a block and a tea towel in this as well. Great for um, Really a great piece. And then the next one, Claire, the next page. So, Stanley Cup, that's a new piece as well. And of course the Stanley Cup ornament, which we, we launched early because we just thought it was such a great piece. 
So we've done with the, with the vintage Stanley Cup, which was in its original form, is uh, from 1893. We did the block, which we thought is a great souvenir piece, or anybody who's a hockey fan would love that. Uh, and we did the tea towel as well. Next page, 116. And this, I just want to point out here, this is where the tea towels that coordinate with the, um, with the Kawartha and Muskoka Lakes. And then we also have the, um, the new uh, music blocks, which is all the different music genres. Um, another really good strong seller from, um, from Man Made as well. So we've done it just as a really nice uh, little block. Great for, I think, the music, uh, for all music lovers. 122, please, Claire. So we've added a few, first of all, we've added a new piece to the uh, to this collection. These are all made in India. They have a beautiful cotton canvas on, on these pieces. And that book tote, which you'll see with the dragonfly at the top here, that is the new piece that we've added. We added that in um, almost all of the, um, the, uh, the top selling designs. I think there's six of them. Um, and so that piece there has the exact same detail as the other tote. So it is uh, lined on the inside. It has a zip pocket. The handles are 100% real leather. The studding is the antique brass. So again, really nice attention to detail and really nice quality. And we've added uh, two new patterns. So one here is the uh, hummingbird. So you'll see you've got the pillow and the book bag and the pouch. And then if you just scroll to page 124, you'll see the other new design, which is the poppy. So this is a little bit different. Most of the other ones are all sort of um, animals or icons. And this one here is sort of an all over poppy design. Uh, really pretty, really nice colors. Again, with that, um, that lovely sort of tea stained style canvas. Um, which is really nice and warm, a uh, really nice neutral. That, that's a, quite, a, quite a nice piece and that, that most women uh, would like that type of pattern. Page 125, please, Claire. So you, I'm sure all of you are familiar with Dry Pot, uh, which is our collection made in Indonesia, all hand woven. We've added some um, storage baskets, which I think is a really, a, a, First of all, it's a natural for um, this type of product, but on top of it, you know, with everybody staying at home more and um, trying to corral, you know, lots of people at home and lots of stuff, I think these are really lovely pieces to, to add to the collection. Of course, as I said, all made in Indonesia, all completely hand woven there as well. Uh, there's a couple of pieces that nest and a couple of pieces that are just on their own. Uh, and I'll talk a little bit about some additional pieces um, coming up in a little bit future. Uh, none of these items are lined. Uh, we basically bought them just sort of raw, so let people use them whether they want to use them as market baskets, whether they want to use them for firewood or towels or toys or whatever they like. Um, you know, these are really nice pieces for that and have a really lovely warm feeling with that natural rattan. Page 140, please, Claire. There are 12 new Just Saying signs. A lot of it has to do with home and nesting. Obviously, that's where we're seeing a lot of the trends right at the moment. So of course, staying home is the new going out. Home is our happy place. Um, any love lives here. Um, all of those um, themes and that type of sentiment uh, we're finding is, is um, very, very popular at the moment. So we've done our new signs, um, mainly with that theme in mind. Um, um, next page, please, Claire, page 142. We can start with that if you like. There are new mats. Obviously, it's our spring booking program. So we, uh, well, it's our all-in booking program, actually. But we have added some new pieces. There are actually 10 new mats. Um, actually, the cats, the abstract cats. The only reason I'm pointing that out is that abstract line is one of our top-selling mats. Uh, so I just want to point out the cats. Most of them, the uh, new mats are on page 146 and 150. Um, however, again, because we have that great new icon, it will be easy for you guys to see what the new pieces are um, and, um, and be able to point those out to your customer. So obviously this one here, that home family love, that's really nice. So that's a combination of the core and rubber together. It's a nice piece and there isn't any ink to fade or anything like that. By the way, that's one thing I just do want to mention, um, that every single one of our printed mats 
has a binder on top of it. It's a clear binder that helps to keep the color of the, of the mats. We added that um, a couple of years ago. And so all of our mats are now coming with that binder on top to protect the color and the, and the wearability of the mats. So where are we gonna go from here? Um, actually, let's just go down a little bit lower because I wanna see, I just wanna show that butterfly mat. So there is a, so that coordinates with the Monarch stuff that I showed you before. And there is a single one coming as well for January. And I, let's jump to 160 now, Claire, please. So um, we do have a couple of new sources for cast iron who are doing products that are quite different than sort of our Iron Age vendor. You know, our Iron Age vendor, he tends to carry a lot of and, and develop, he designs a lot of the product himself. Um, he tends to do a lot of sort of industrial look and he, he's a picker by trade. And so he tends to do a lot of uh, replications of vintage pieces. So this, um, the foundry collection comes from a, a, a new factory and he tends to sort of focus on things that are a little bit more hip, a little bit more um, uh, new, a little, uh, things that we haven't really seen before. So we thought this was a really nice complement to a lot of our existing Iron Age pieces. So you can see here sort of that coastal effect or that marine effect where we've got a lot of anchors, the octopus, the tentacle is very cool. It's a really, really neat piece right in the bathroom. Um, the whale is new. But what I really want to point out here is this whale tail. So the one on the left, that Iron Age 357, one of our top selling items, that whale tail thing, and they look, it's deceiving in this picture, but the two new foundry items in both the vertigree finish and the blue, those are small. And so that's sort of like the large version and the small version. Still big enough, obviously, to hold a robe or a towel or, you know, at a cottage or in a bathroom. Um, but again, I'm expecting those at that price point, too, to be huge, huge sellers for us. Um, and really uh, and really take off, especially that we've done them in sort of the two finishes. Okay, page 166, please, Claire. A couple of new pieces here. Also to, again, going back to that coastal, that is definitely, uh, you know, a classic decorating trend. Still very, very strong. Still strong with a lot of our coastal customers. So there are a couple of small vases there. They are porcelain, so they have a lovely feel and weight to them. And there's that really nice little Nautilus shell um, um, uh, tea light holder. But the other thing, there are three new shells in this collection. And I just want to remind everyone, unfortunately, I'm sorry, the US guys, you, you don't get to sell these anymore. Um, that's just a problem. Anyway, uh, on top of that, those there are three new shells. But I want to remind you all that all of our shells they all come from the Philippines. They are not from China. They are all like sourced sustainably. The guy who supplies this to us has all the phyto certification, all of the, um, the, the um, sustainability issues, everything. This guy is 100% above board and he does really beautiful work. And we've just been selling these for quite, quite some time. But I just wanted to remind you that all of our shells, the natural shells are all coming from the Philippines. And on page 167, Claire, I want to point out just that range of planters that's below the welcome to the lake where friends and uh, where friends and marshmallows get toasted. Uh, right below that, there is a range, you'll see the planters. They are cement. They, it has a dragonfly on it. But what's it really lovely about this, and we put it in the description, is that that um, the dragonfly is actually debossed. So there is relief on that actual planter. You know, our, our cement planters we're doing remarkably well with, and they're just a you know, great, great classic. They can go indoors or out. But this one, it really has a nice tactile effect because that is um, debossed on the planter. And then of course it's been highlighted with the, with the white, uh, which is a, a really nice piece. Okay, let's go to the next page, which is page 168. Actually, I need 169, Claire, is the, the page I need. So I, I spoke a little bit earlier about the, um, the classics, the parade planters in that small size. So here's where a lot of them are being featured. You'll see there's a monstera leaf, there's the toucan, again, with the pineapple, again, that sort of Pura Vida effect, that theme that's really popular, the tropical fruits. 
Um, and of course, the tropical birds fit right in with that and are, are one of the icons that go along with that. The monkeys are lower than, and then of course, the flamingos. And then also on this page is the beginning of some new um, faux flowers that we've done. The, the orchids here are really quite lovely. Um, they are, we've done them in two colors and two sizes. So the idea behind this, especially with the sort of the moss clump at the bottom is that you can put that into a planter, you can put that into a, to a glass vase or anything along that line and it still looks really nice. So the idea is that you can keep it on its own or you can also put it into um, a vessel and it looks like a real orchid. And actually these are really, really nicely, um, nicely done. They have really nice quality and they're, um, they're very, um, very lovely on, on both pieces too. Uh, Claire, page 172, please. And I'll continue talking about the faux flowers. So this is just an extension of that orchid, or the orchid is an extension of this, let's say. Um, a full range of faux flowers and every one in these really unique pots. The idea being, again, as I said, you can either leave it on its own and you don't have to worry about putting it in a, in a planter, or it also just drops into any one of our planters and adds a little bit of color. Not only is this great for consumers, but this is great for our own customers who wanna add some color. Obviously, they can't put fresh flowers in their shop unless they're a florist. Um, but this is a really easy way for them to inject some color uh, and some low maintenance um, color actually into their, their displays. So we've done quite a few, obviously all natural sort of um, spring flowers. The pansies are terrific. We've done some really nice tulips. We've done some great lavender pieces. Again, sort of covering a wide range um, of, of flowers you know, for a lot of zones. Next, um, item in there that I just want to point out, as I mentioned, if you go down, so there's the terracotta pots, of course, terracotta being a huge color right now and a huge finish. Um, can you go down to 173, please, Claire? Again, geraniums, a classic, and then a little lavender, as I, as I pointed out, there will be a full range of lavender and lavender tabletop coordinating with the textiles a little bit later in the spring. So um, th that will be a great coordinate for that. But you'll notice even the ones below, um, there's the, the pink, green, and yellow. We've done a really nice sort of little daisy flower in that with a lot of greenery. The nice thing is is that a lot of natural green to, to, um, to really make the flowers pop. Um, and that plant, as I said, you just set that down and you're done. You don't have to worry about um, you know, watering it. You don't have to worry about putting it in another in a planter. And what we did is we tried to choose all of the pieces that were as, as real as we felt where they were going to get with a, with a full flower. So this is a, a really nice, nice, um, a really nice collection here too. And quite extensive for, from us as well. And again, polyester on the leaves. So more fabric as opposed to like Woodhill, which is also a huge seller for us. Very, very good. But Woodhill is all plastic. So this is really nice because we've introduced the textile part of it, or at least the, um, you know, the polyester fabric on a lot of these pieces to give it more of a, more of a natural look. Jody's made a great point about uh, great price points on the flowers in the pots and they're perfect for home offices. Thank you, Claire. That's great. Thank you, Jody. Okay, so let's hop to page 176. While we're talking about full flowers, you may as well go full in. So the left side, there's that bamboo piece there. That's just really meant to be an addition and a complement to a lot of our long stemmed faux flowers here. That is 100% plastic, okay? But it is really nice with a lot of the other plants. And if you can just go to 177, Claire, I can point out a couple of new pieces that we have. Um, so it's a little tough to sort of tell from the picture, but okay, so the two that have the 21 beside them, the one on the left, which is the double bloom peony, that's actually a full peony bloom and also a small bud. So it actually has two flowers on each stem. That's why it's a little bit more than the other one. Uh, again, with really nice natural leaves. Again, we chose the ones that look the most natural. Uh, and then I want the one on the right, which is sort of the, the um, cherry blossom bloom as well. There are four colors in that. Again, we stuck to the really natural ones. Um, and tried to come to come to the market with some things that were really, really quite exquisite. So. Next page, 179, please, Claire. 
So right away is a is the sort of the spring equivalent of Grand Prix, which we did for Christmas a couple of year a couple of years in a row. These are fantastic. The detail on these are unbelievable. This is all hand done. It's all hand welded, assembled, painted, and they've done a really lovely job with a sort of an antique paint job, uh, and each one having a lovely little bouquet or pot of of flowers on it. So really lovely pieces that that um, you know are very cheery and, and and make you feel good when you look at them. Really fun for spring and summer, uh, especially with so many people at, at home. And then the three pieces at the bottom, you know, you got the truck with the flowers, which is, of course, the spring extension of the um, truck and tree from holiday that's been so popular for so many years. The truck with the flowers, these ones, these particular pieces really coordinate great with that wildflower collection that I was talking about at the very beginning, that first coordinating collection with that we did the... Um, the tabletop and the textile with. These are terrific pieces. And so what we've tried to do is really build some of these themes so that our customers are able to, to do the same thing and, and build the themes using a lot of our product so they can come up with really interesting and unique and unique displays that cover a wide range, whether it's you know tabletop, whether it's just core items, uh, and really be able to expand uh, and, and offer something for everybody. Um, page 181, please, Claire. So last year we did a Frida um, cat and, and vase collection. And this is this year's um, fresh new version of this. And uh, what I love about this compared to that old one is, first of all, this is completely hand painted. Um, on the one that we did last year, part of it was hand painted and part of it was decal. And these are really lovely, beautiful colors. And they have a really nice little gold accent. The nose is actually gold. So very sort of artistic um, and, and beautiful. Um, I think much, much nicer than the, the ones from last year. Really fun, fun pieces. We've done four. Um, one is sort of a more of a little planter or great for vases as, as well. These are again that hardened dolomite and why you want to use hardened dolomite in some of these, especially on hand painted ones, is because that, that surface and that material takes the color way better than any other pieces. And in that stoneware, it's way more, uh, uh, way more natural. It's very tough to get bright colors on it. But when you use this hardened earthenware or hardened dolomite, you get the color and you really get that, that impact that, that you need when you're trying to, to um, do this type of, type of look. Um, and then if we just go down a little bit to there, we've added the Frida lamps. We've actually added three lamps and these are solely for fun. They're so colorful and, and so unique, you know, really fun for, uh, for, for home. Each one, that's a little deceiving because they're not coming with black plugs, they're all coming with clear plugs. There's, um, each one will have a, a clear plug on the, uh, on the lamp. So I think that makes it nicer because then you don't see that, um, that, that cord when it's on the table um, and you can sort of hide it a little bit better if you're the core. So Frida, she comes, is all, she's resin, the base is resin. She's lovely, lovely colors, not, lots of really nice bright, very natural looking and she comes with that beautiful blue shade. And if you go to the next page, um, 182 and 183, down in the bottom corner, please, Claire, you'll see Beethoven. That size is incorrect, right? Uh, that, that he should be the same size as Frida. That's the size without the shade on it. And Beethoven is in this great fun blue. Uh, and her, his shade is sort of a light, a light gray. So again, really nice neutral thing. Great fun for in a, in a, um, like on a desk, especially for a home office. And then if you go just a little bit lower than two on the other side, you'll see the lion. And the lion is also a spectacular piece. And he is gorgeous too. That size is also wrong. That 15 inches is only the resin portion. He's also almost that 24 inches, the same like Frida. They're all about the same comparable size. But what's amazing about this one is you'll see inside that lampshade, it has a gold lining. So that looks spectacular when it's lit. Uh, really a really nice piece. And of course that really coordinates well. There's so many people doing that sort of nomad um, sort of theme as well, which is that more natural tribal look. And he's really fun, a real pop of color and really um, quite, an, quite an interesting piece. And Claire, if you can just go up a little bit just to where that Jakarta 2250, that set of um, mirrors. I really want to point out this because this picture is it's a little deceiving. So the right, right in the center, that set of three round mirrors, those are actually rattan. So 
So it's actually a two inch deep dish um, that, that the, those mirrors are all a sort of a, um, a few strips of rattan coiled in a circle. They are nested, so they come packed like that. Um, obviously you can split them apart or you could, your customers can split them apart, but that's a little bit deceiving. And that shelf is probably almost two inches deep. So you could set something inside there if you wanted. We'll try and get another picture on the web and an, on Iman that has sort of a profile picture of that so you can see how deep that, that dish is. But it's very deceiving because almost in this picture, it looks gold, but it's not, it's rattan. So you have to make sure you take a look at the, at the, uh, um, at the, at the uh, material for, for that product. Okay. 184, please, Claire. So these, these next two pages actually are a huge collection of larger pieces. This is actually our Belvedere collection. Most of Belvedere has a really nice gold foil finish. A lot of home decor and, and accent pieces. So there's a lot of mirrors. There's two pivot mirrors um, and a couple of hooks. Again, all with that really nice foil um, finish, uh, which is you know gold so popular right now in home decor. Um, there's the two hanging lanterns that's actually that comes together so you get the lantern portion with the glass shade and the stand um, so again really nice sort of oversized pieces um, what a lot of people are looking for right now bigger pieces that are great value and these are really represent great value and then, of course the tripod uh, the tri leg um, table is also really nice that has sort of a blackened antique sort of base and then the, the top part is uh, sort of a nice gold um, gold furnished gold on top. Jen, it's listing the diameter there, but it's not listing a height. Do you know? Uh, I don't know off the top of my head, but it will be. Uh, it, it is in Winslow. I can. Uh, I'll, I'll find out what that is. It's not. You, you can't put. You can't put chairs around it. It's not a dining room table, right? It's lower, so it's kind of more like a side table. So I would say that it's probably about that same height. Um, but I'll, the, all of the information is there. We should have a second uh, description on that too, a second height. And then um, on its coordinating page, there are the mesh lanterns in the center. So there's two at the top and then two below. Each one of these is an LED lantern. So it comes with that LED um, Edison bulb. They run on two AA batteries and they run for about 72 hours. And each one of those has a really nice loop at the top. So what's great about that is that you can use it on a table, you can use it on the floor. Some of them are big enough that you could definitely put on the floor, but not only that, you can hang them. So you can just buy a regular hook and then you can use it outside and have it as a hanging lantern as well. So lots of versatility in those, in those pieces. Um, the little small lantern, the punched lantern on the left at the top, that one also comes with a glass shade, but it doesn't have a, it kind of looks like there's a bulb in it, but that's not, it's a candle. So that's uh, just a regular lantern. And then of course, some um, um, bigger pieces. I don't think so, Fred. I don't think that's the right height. I don't think it's 14 inches high. It's way higher than that. I don't think so. Oh, there, that's better. 24 inches high, thank you. Um, so a couple of new pieces here as well. Again, pivoting mirrors that um, we've done, which you can hang vertically or you can hang them horizontally. Great in a, in a hallway. And then of course there are those couple of additional um, mirrors that have shelves in the front of them. There's a round and a rectangle piece, again, big pieces. Um, and then there's the one that has the shelf with the hooks on it. Great, again, for a hall. You can use it in a bathroom, even to hold towels, et cetera. So, um, and really great price points on a lot of these as, as well. Okay, let's go to page 187. And there's just uh, one more mirror I want to point out there. I was talking about sort of that nomad, that tribal effect that's really popular right now, whether it has to do with giraffes as a textile, like giraffe and zebra as, as prints, um, anything to do with sort of that natural tribal look. This mirror, um, it's deceiving here, but it is almost 30 inches wide. So it's really, really big. All of that is completely hand done. That's a jute sort of roping on it. That's all hand done, that fringe, it's a really hot look. Uh, a lot of people have seen sort of those tribal necklaces that are really popular right now. So this is a, a big piece that um, is a great decorator piece as well. Um, that, as I said, a much a large scale piece there too. So. 192, please, Claire. Uh, what do I got here? 
the only reason I want to point I want to point out the Venus pieces because that's another theme that's really popular right now. That is the mythos or sort of like a uh, an architectural theme. Uh, it's definitely it has a lot of Greek elements to it, a lot of architectural elements to it, and so we have a really nice sort of figurine that we launched in August. That's the uh, the Venus piece in cement, but we did these beautiful resin bookends too. Again, that home office thing being so big and this theme, this whole architectural um, sort of classic. Uh, Greek look um, also being very popular. So I just wanted to point those out as well. Um, page 195, three new Charlotte Nicolin planters. We've taken the three top selling patterns, which is Henry the Hedgehog or his family, um, the uh, moose, the forest prince, and then the three cats. So again, that's done in that same small size um, planter that we are that part of our parade collection. Again, all done by that sweet, our, our Swedish art, um, artist, um, Charlotte Nicholas. 199, please, Claire. A couple of new resin uh, roosters, still doing very well with this type of product. Uh, and these ones are really lovely. I just want to point them out because the detail in their paint is really lovely. They've got this gorgeous black fan tail, um, which has a lot of detail in it and a lot of sculpting. You know, um, even though that these are these are resin pieces, you can get a lot of detail in that. And the factory that's doing this has obviously you can see the detail in the wing uh, and across the front. So they are really nice detailed pieces. So there are there's one that's sort of peeking over. We typically do very well with things that are peeking over the edge. There's a trio that's a little bit lower in the page, and of course the big single on, on its own. Two o two, please, Claire. These are the last three pieces for, uh, so there's one new eco one, the recycled glass. And if you just jump to 203 there, you'll just see the other ones. And then we can move on from there. Uh, next one. Yeah, the lantern at the bottom and that angle cut bowl. Again, the angle cut bowl is another piece that you could plant in. You could do a terrarium in that piece as well, or you could use it for fruit um, or flowers there as well. 220, please, Claire. We're getting there. You know, this is the biggest catalog we have ever done. 285 pages, largest ever. So the sloth and the cobra, top corner, new, new pieces in cast iron. Um, this is a, uh, if you move to 221, please, Claire. So the two leopard vases at the top, it's from the same factory that's doing Frida. So a lot of hand painting, not for everybody, that's for sure, but really unique pieces, planters that are fun and uh, that have a lot of color and a lot of detail are, are very popular for us right now. But I wanna just point this out. This is a much better picture. It's better scale of the actual, um, that, that um, the lion lamp lantern, or the lion lamp, sorry, lion lamp. Right. Um, you go to 223. The dog head planters, you know, we did really great with the Doolittle, which was those white um, wall ones. Uh, and so these, these are deceiving. They're not that small. They're actually quite large. Um, and there is two, there's the Poodle and the Westie, uh, again, made of that hardened earthen, earthenware and a really nice, nice fun pieces as well as everybody is rebonding with their pets over the last few months. 225, please, Claire. So as part of Jakarta, uh, from that same factory in Indonesia, we've done four pet bed slash houses. There are the two, these, these are large pieces. There are two teepees at the top and the teepees come with a, um, like a chalkboard nameplate so you can mark a name on um, your own, you can personalize it. And then the two pieces at the bottom um, are also new. Every single one of those um, pieces comes with a cushion. The cushion has a removable color, so it has a zipper on it. Um, a, sorry, a removable cover. Um, each one of uh, the cushions is filled with Dacron. Dacron is great because it is um, non-absorbent and mildew re resistant. You can wash the cover, so I would hand wash it. I wouldn't throw it in the washing machine. Or if you do, you could do it on gentle, but I wouldn't put it in the dryer. Um, it is a polyester cover, so also um, spill and, and stain resistant, which um, 
I wish it was hair resistant. How do you get one of those, right? <laughs> so there you go, Angela. Toby said, she says, that's Angela's dog, Toby. And let me tell you, that is the sweetest dog ever. He's 7.5 pound Yorkshire Terrier. Um, okay, next page please, Claire, which is 226. So this is probably my favorite glam shot of the entire catalog. It's just the cutest thing ever. <laughs> so there are three cute little mice there. Obviously the surgeon, the nurse, and um, actually I shouldn't say that, but it is a nurse. The little one in the apron, and then um, the, the doctor in the, uh, in the white lab coat as well. And we've done a lot of the new merino pieces with a, a, a lot of sort of fun accents. So you'll see the two, the pig and the sloth, they have a, um, a four leaf clover and a ladybug, very cute for people, you know, for good luck um, and ni a nice sentiment. And then the ones on page 227 um, are very sweet as well. Uh, and they all have flowers, like a little bouquet of flowers. So great for the spring. Um, and each one, of course, you know, it has the little hanging tag. So you can use them standalone or you can, as a figurine, or you can use them hanging. It's, it's uh, up to you, whichever you prefer. And you can sort of see the little party happening in that little glam shot in the bottom, which is really adorable. Page 228, please, Claire. So bird clip, of course, continues to be a great seller for us. What I want to point out here is just those butterflies. So there is an assortment of four butterflies. That's a mistake in the catalog that's been corrected too. It's four assorted, not 12 assorted. And then of course the uh, Monarch clip also that's on its own, again, coordinating with a lot of our Monarch product. But what's unique about these is they are clips. Typically you see butterflies on a stake or on a stick or with a metal wrapping thing. These, all of the butterflies are clips. So they, they can slide onto a little leaf. They can slide onto a, to um, even a, a plastic petal. They can slide onto a real petal. Um, or a leaf of a, of a part of your plant as well. So lots of nice new pieces there on top of that. Okay. Um, 230 and 231, please, Claire. So um, lots of great new Easter items. I'm not gonna go through every single one of these, but we have lots of new Easter. There's new Easter planters, there's new Easter felt, there's new figurines. I want to point out the large rabbits in the top right corner of page 231. Those are really big, right? That guy that's sitting up guy is 22 inches high, so almost two feet high. Um, but he's really lovely. And again, with that lovely sort of felt finish to him, lightweight, so great for shipping. Uh, and we've done quite a big extension, sort of a, a refresh on Folly, which was really popular last year. Um, but it's really dramatic with the black and white um, rabbit as well. And he has a lovely velvet, all of those have a really nice velvet um, uh, ribbon accent as well. And then to continue on page 232 and 233, again, lots of tabletop, lots of lovely Easter items. Um, again, Easter is uh, in April for next year, um, but we've done lots of little pieces. So um, small egg cups and small salt and peppers, great serving pieces. I love that piece with the bunny on his back holding the, um, the, um, the cupcakes there. There's a few ornaments. Uh, again, all hand painted, uh, really lovely pieces, nice, cute pieces. The egg cups, you know, I know a lot of people are eating soft boiled eggs, but the nice thing about the egg cup is if you have, especially as a, a heritage piece with, or with um, eggs that have been painted or hand, hand painted by their kids, or a lot of heritages do that sort of the egg knocking, you can use that to sort of display that egg as well. So it doesn't have to just be for soft boiled eggs. So lots of, lots of pieces in, um, in, uh, in for Easter for, for next year. Really fun pieces, right? Page 234, please, Claire. What I would like to point out here is Avon. So that is the collection um, of wreath, and there's sort of a spray, there's a wreath on the next page as well. All of these are really, what I love about this actually is that the flowers are wood. So it's not polyester. Like a lot of a lot of the reeds on the market, especially for spring, have a polyester accents to them and flowers. These are all, every one of those flowers is made out of wood petals, um, which is really lovely. And it gives it a really nice natural look. The colors have a lot of depth to them. It's not just a typical, um, you know, Easter wreath where it's like with pink and yellow and mint. Um, these have really lovely, lovely tones in them um, with a lot of natural elements, a lot of natural twigs, a lot of, uh, really pretty, pretty
pretty aspects to them, which makes it great for the entire season of spring and summer, as opposed to just being able to put it out for a couple of weeks before Easter. And it is quite an extensive collection. Um, lots of nice rich colors running, running through those as well. The little tea light there, you'll notice we've added a side there. It does include the little glass in, insert as well for safety. So page 237 would be great. Actually, 236. Let's start with 236. Um, what I'd like to point out here is that there's another one of those Easter wreaths. Again, that one's a little bit more Easter. It's got eggs on it and a little bit more in the Easter theme. But if you just go down to the bottom there, Claire, those two cylinder pieces, um, which are just a classic cement planter with that beautiful white, sort of that white wash effect that's been so popular for us. They have a little embossed um, head on them, a rabbit head on them. Those are great pieces, just simple, not really heavily, um, you know, reeking of bunnies with eggs and stuff like that, but just a really nice spring item. A lot of our spring items, including that artisan piece with the bunny head, we sell year round, not just for Easter. So I suspect that those items, it's a great piece for a florist who, uh, or you know, a lot of our garden centers who just want something that's a little bit more springy, but doesn't really, you know, it isn't overly Easter. So those are two really great pieces. I just really wanted to point those out. Um, 237. Haven uh, is a lovely collection of, and what's nice about this is it's a matte finish. You can't really tell from the picture, but it has, um, it's all porcelain and it has a really beautiful smooth matte finish. Um, we've done a couple of birds in a couple of different shapes, uh, two colors, the natural ivory and um, the mint green. And then those three little boutique, those cute little planters, they're tiny, they're small. Well, not tiny, they're five inches in diameter, but it fits a four inch plant. Um, they have a lovely, almost a lost wax texture to them. And we've done them in some sort of nice colors that you don't normally see, the sort of that pink, that mint, and almost that ochre yellow. Uh, really lovely little pieces and great price points. Uh, unbelievable prices on those ones too. Um, 238, please, Claire. More wreath, as I said, but these again, all with the wood accent. So that lavender one in the center, that's all, a lot of that is, is sort of a combination of wood and lavender. Um, and then the one that's on the top, before we go there, um, just go down a little bit on uh, 238, please, Claire. And there's a range of planters I want to point out. This lavender range. So this is the same factory and almost exact same style as our um, Jasper planter that we did in the holiday program. They were top sellers for us, sold out of all the sizes. So this is really lovely for the spring. Again, with that. Um, now this has an embossed, and I know Otto, you are asking me, embossed means it comes out, debossed means it goes in. So this is an embossed sort of um, lavender um, that comes along the the, the outside of this, which is really lovely. And then that wreath, just on the top of page um, 239, I want to point out that again, that looks like it's covered in succulents. It's spectacular that it's actually, again, all of those wood flowers. So just another thing to sort of point out there on that. A lot of natural materials in this year's, um, this year's program. Okay, so let's hop to page 246, please, Claire. A couple of additional bee and butterfly pieces. Grow these for the bees. Again, that's part of that Jane Madej collection. A couple of little pieces, a little ornament and a um, stake. Um, we did really terrific with aviary last year. So I just want to point those out because those are a really nice addition to that. And 254, Claire. Again, I want to just point this out because it's buried with a minikin. Minikin, huge success story. But that unicorn at that price point is unbelievable. And that would be great for, um, you know, on your on a desk with paper clips or erasers. Um, great on a dresser for little girls for their hair clips and their hair elastics or jewelry. Um, so not just a little planter and even the, the flamingo for that matter. Both really great little pieces um, and great price points on that. I know that Minikin is just doing so unbelievable. But that's just a really great, great addition to those two ones. 259, please, Claire. So the oval planters, I don't really need to point out much. I know every single one of these guys, um, you know, is a top seller. 
but on the uh, those pedestal planters, two pieces that are not just a head planter, but again, heavy cement. They're oval in shape, which is really nice, which means you can fit two beside it, and they have a lovely um, embossed design on it too that's sort of a simple scroll. Again, cement, so they can go outside um, or they can go on the floor. Uh, really nice, uh, nice classic pieces for us. 260. So again, as I mentioned to you, the, uh, that new company that we're, we're buying from the foundry items, a lot of these pieces, a little bit more unique. So there are a lot of this classic moose and bear items, a lot of table, um, a lot of wall decor items, a lot of hooks. Again, great for, it uh, doesn't matter whether you're um, a cabin or a cottage or a camp, doesn't matter what you call it, every single one of these is a sort of a nice piece for there, whether it's in a hall or a bathroom, all with this great theme with this, this um, bear and um, moose theme. So again, really nice nice pieces to, to add to Iron Age. And they're a little bit more different than what, we are, uh, than what we've been doing lately. So. Um, page, there's no page on this, two, 262, please. <laughs> I just want to point out this pine cone at the bottom. That's a really nice little cement planter. It has a lot of great relief in it. Um, very cute little piece uh, on that one as well. And page 266, Claire. I think that's... So the, the house, the house shelf unit. So not only is that great in a home because you can use it to, to um, put your souvenirs or your small, your, your, your travel, your travel souvenirs and things on. It's also a great piece for our customers to use as a merchandising, uh, merchandising tool. It's, there's lots of shelves, lots of space on that. And it's a really nice piece for them to be able to, um, to use not only to sell in the store, but also to merchandise in their store as well. 270, please. So you'll notice for quarry, quarry, we've got two large sizes. It's our double extra large and our triple extra large. Make no mistake, these are huge. They are really, really big planters. A lot of our customers are asking us for large size pieces. Quarry is one of our top selling um, collections, all made in Vietnam, all durable cement, good for indoor and out, but these are big really really big planters they are spectacular really really nice pieces and really a great um, a great way to sort of refresh this as well um you know our, our the top sellers we've done it only in the gray for now as the gray sells way better than the brown but uh, they are really really big pieces um and definitely nice, nice durable pieces for for us uh, page 272 actually let's go to 273 so I can speed this up, we're almost done. Uh, Linden is a new collection of, um, of planters. You know, we launched a lot of our planters in, um, uh, in uh, July this year. Uh, so these are just a few new additions here that'll be part of spring booking, but obviously tons of our new planters that we've launched are already proving to be great sellers. So uh, lots of planters to choose from this year, that's for sure. Linden is new within, in the nice fresh white color with the, the simple leaf branch. Um, Berkeley is selling so well in that green and white combination that I think this is a little bit more of a natural look. It's a little bit more organic with that leaf and again with that sort of pebbled finish. Again, in cement, so really durable, all waterproof, all with the pads on the bottom as usual. Um, so really nice, nice additions on, on those pieces as well. There are actually, the other thing is that we also did three shapes that we don't normally do. So there's the classic planters at the top, but the, in the middle of the page, you'll see that's a round piece on the right. On the left, it's a nice oval planter. And then we've done a taller vase in the lower piece as well. So again, nicer pieces that are a little bit more unique in shape, not just your classic four and six inch uh, round planter. 274 down at the bottom griffin of course we've been uh, selling for quite some time great planter for us terrific with small succulents and for small cactus we've added two additional colors in there uh where we've got the gold and the copper so both a sort of an antique finish same type of thing as that antique silver but we've done it in the two additional metallic colors 
uh, and those will actually be in time for Christmas. So they will be coming in early this fall, um, I think around mid-October. So that's a, a nice, um, a nice little perk for that for that one there. And then on the next page, two seventy-five. is the tree of life planters so what's absolutely amazing about tree of life is that it is a universal symbol it, it, it basically transcends any culture any religion everybody loves the tree of life it means uh, something positive to every single person um, so we've done two sizes in this too again in that cement with a beautiful whitewash finish um, uh, as well on that design so i think those will also be you know, great price points on this cement planters um, as well and the very last page 276 has three new lanterns on it uh, part of the rattan collection uh, from that same factory there is the natural one so not quite that dark shiny um, rattan strips but one that's a little bit more natural in the costa and then right down on the bottom claire we can just point out there um, these two pieces, the black, they have like a black dark finish to them. They are all hand done again with that nice rattan. Um, they all come with a really heavy duty glass insert, which not only helps weigh them down if they're outside in the wind, but also keeps a candle safe from blowing um, the, the flame around. Obviously that's a great safety feature. That big one though, it is big. It's, it's almost like 30, it's two and a half feet. So it is a really nice big piece. Great commercial piece, great piece for outdoors. Uh, really definitely a nice, a nice big, uh, a big piece. Again, all hand done. And then just at the top, there is a collection of industry. That is, is um, um, a cement, but it has metal almost supporting it. It's a real sort of industrial look. Um, really great for a lot of people that are still um, chasing that sort of theme, which is um, still very popular. And they come with the glass inserts as well, um, which is a nice safety feature on, on those items as well for candles. That's everything. How did I do? Oh, damn. I went over my hour. <laughs> a lot. But that's, you got it. Uh, 481 new items or something like that. Crazy, crazy. And then add the 200 items that we added in, in August. That's a lot of new product for you guys to, to sell. So I'm very excited for you to be able to give you the, the tools to be able to be successful. So what do you think? You think you're gonna be able to sell some of that stuff? Good. Happy. Keep, keep selling it because that keeps my job too. <laughs> Is there any questions that I need to answer on uh, from the chat? Is there anybody, anything that I missed on anybody? Let me take a look. Otto, you asked a question about the Polish glass. Yes, you understand correctly. There is no English on the packaging. Cindy, tall linden, hold a bo wine bottle. I think it's a little narrow for that. I don't think it'll fit a wine bottle, Cindy. Um, Tia, wreaths, are they fade and weatherproof? It's wood. No, I don't think so. Not any different than a polyester piece of flower that you're going to put outside. You know, I think, uh, I think you probably get a couple of years out of it, that's for sure, especially with wood, right? You know, you're going to have to put it in sort of a sheltered area. Sandy, are we sending catalogs to every customer? We are sending catalogs to every customer who has spent anything with us since January of 2019. Wow. Wow. Oh, uh, Cindy, avocado, avocado, net. yes, there were avocado nesting bowls. There's two av new avocado pieces. One is the salt and pepper and the other is the nesting bowls. So There's four nesting bowls that are really nice bowls. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't stop on every single page. We would have been here until lunchtime. Well, we already are here at lunchtime, beyond lunchtime, dinner time. We would have been here till dinner time. <laughs> uh, what else, anybody else? Next. So, I gotta go get parts. Okay. And that also includes the US, in case any of the US reps are wondering. Um, it's the same numbers in the US. We are sending out catalogs to anyone who purchased anything from us from January 19 until now. 
I just want to point out, we're sending out thousands more catalogs than usual. And that was intentional because we know that there was no trade show in Toronto this year in, in August. And the Atlanta show was certainly a much smaller version of what it normally is. So we wanted to get that exposure out there. Uh, the Abbott name, all the great new products make it easier for the reps on the road. So the customers should have that book in hand, uh, ready to go for when you contact them. And the catalog turned out great. Uh, so a few of you, I, I know you were flipping through, you've received them already. For those of you who haven't received them yet, I think you'll be really, really pleased. It just looks amazing. You're getting a spiral bound version, but the actual properly bound ones will be along shortly, um, hitting the mail and your customers and you will have lots of them ready to go soon. So thank you to the team that created the catalogs. Thank you, Jennifer. That was very interesting, very informative as always. I don't know how you got through so many products in just under an hour and a half, but uh, time well spent. I hope everybody enjoyed that and that it sets you off on a very successful uh, pre-booking program, which will launch next week on Tuesday. So you'll be getting those details as well, but pretty much everything that, well, everything that's in that catalog is part of the booking program. So have fun with it. Enjoy any questions. We're always here to help and have a great weekend, everybody. Take care. Thank you.